Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video today, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, everybody's having a great freaking day. Hopefully, you are going after your goals and chasing it all. Maybe my AC is a little too loud, eh? A little loud, eh? You know what I'm saying, Mike? But you already know what time it is. It's vlog time. I really want to start doing more vlogs on the channel because I personally love making videos. To be, like, to be completely honest with you guys, I genuinely love making videos. I think they're super fun. And it gives me a chance to like show you guys my creativity. And not only that, it gives me like a chance to show you guys like who I am, what I'm about, and the things I do. You know what I'm saying? We got a ton of things to do in today's vlog, so let's go ahead and get started. So one thing I'm introducing into my workouts, ECAAs and amino acids into my like hydrated for my workout. Uh, because like the longer I work out, you want to stay hydrated the whole time and you want to stay pretty fueled up the whole time. So adding this has definitely made a difference in my workout. It's not like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, no, bro. But like, you know, I feel definitely more hydrated and I feel more energized throughout the workout, especially the end um, whenever I have to do more cardio. It's like I'm ready to do the cardio and I want to do the cardio instead of like, oh, like forcing myself to do the cardio, if that makes sense. So I added these. Uh, you can literally just go on Google or whatever and just search up amino acids or BCAAs for your workout and try to get them stim free, guys, because some of them have beta alanine in it. Just try to get them without that uh, because you don't really need that. That's just going to keep you like energized and stuff. And you don't, I don't want to say you don't want that, but if you take a pre workout, and then you have beta alanine in your BCAAs, then it's like, okay, you just don't need that much. You just get the BCAAs and the aminos and just leave it at that, and then take your pre-workout separately. But that's what we've been doing, and the flavors are pretty bomb. Uh, try to get some without like lab colors, like red 40, blue 40, and all that stuff. So try to stay away from those things. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started, guys. We've got back day today, so we're gonna start this vlog with a back day. Um, I'm really, really trying to build my back. I think it's one of my weakest parts in the, like, bodybuilding wise uh, I don't think it shows off as much as it should so we're about to hit a killer back day follow along for the workout I'm really again trying to put on trying to put on size not only strength uh, I'm not really chasing strength in any body part right now just because like I'm just you know I'm chasing aesthetics I'm trying to try trying to look the best I possibly can for me you know it's a it's a it's a me thing definitely so back day we're gonna hit like four to five exercises but in those four to five exercises we're gonna go really really hard one thing I've been doing lately is just training before getting my day started, but like my work day. So like, I don't know, for me, like I, I've trained at all different parts of the day. So like really early morning, you know, kind of early, like 10 a.m., midday, that three o'clock or even that late night. But for me so far, what I've found very, very like satisfying mentally, physically, emotionally is training in the morning and training fasted. And what I mean by that is fasted as you haven't eaten yet. So there's nothing really sitting in your stomach making you feel gooey. You just feel like you just feel like the freaking man. You know what I mean? You feel you just feel really energized. You feel light. You don't feel heavy in the gut, and you feel ready to go because your mental is so straightforward. Like immediately, it's time to train, so you already know what's going on. So I definitely suggest training early in the morning if possible for your schedule because I think the sessions are just great if you're mentally focused. Any session can be great if you're mentally focused, but if you're not mentally focused, then any session is pretty dog water but I would definitely say try training early in the morning because like I said for me uh, it's been really really good and it's been super productive especially because like you know a lot of people get their work day started go hit the gym and they come back to their work day and it's just like you know the energy's all over the place and you're like you're not as focused on your work day because you just burn so much energy in the gym but what I found with the morning sessions is you get in there, you're super focused early morning, and not even early, early, not like 6 a.m., but you know that 8 to 10 mark, you get it done, and you just feels great, and then you have the rest of the day to get done whatever you gotta get done. But regardless, um, if you can, give it a try, but if not, always make sure to get in the gym. But we are now at the gym, boom, ready to get this session going, ready to push really hard. Remember guys, before you get in the gym, you always want to know exactly what exercises you're going to do. It gives you a better focus, gives you a better like, you know, your head is on straight. Just it's a whole thing whenever you go into the gym, not prepared on what you're going to do. So before every workout, I would definitely suggest getting your mind right and knowing what workouts you would like to do. Time to get this back day going.
amazing freaking workout. Now that the workout's over, the hunger is high, so it is time to eat. All the cardio and working out really does take a toll, so that's why, you know, you eat really good right after, or you eat enough to maintain that energy. But one thing I've definitely added into my workout routine is instead of just doing a straight, you know, straight shot, 30 to 50 minute cardio session right after your workout, I like to split it in half. So I'll do like 15 before and 15 after. To me, if my body gets a lot more ready for the workout because I'm doing some cardio before, you know, getting getting the body ready. That has definitely helped my workouts, let alone the pump. So I would definitely suggest trying that if you wanna mix up your cardio again, cause not everybody likes just doing a straight 30 minutes on the freaking treadmill. Uh, it can get a little annoying. So just do cut it in half. So 15 before, 15 after, give it a try. I think you'll definitely, definitely enjoy that more than a, just a 50 minute session. Now, you don't wanna do too much cardio before. So let's say you're doing, you're doing hour sessions of cardio. I'd still only suggest 15 to 20 minutes pre-workout because if you're doing it like more than like, let's say 25, you're now you're using a lot of the energy you were gonna put into the workout just onto that cardio, which kind of messes with your workout a little bit if that makes sense. And we don't wanna do that. We wanna have a great, heavy, you know, strong workout session. You don't wanna give any of that up to cardio. So if you're doing a like hours worth, definitely stop around the 15 to 20 minute mark and then do the rest right after. For meal time, there's two to three ways you can go. You can obviously, right after your workout session, you can have a protein shake, which is absolutely amazing. As long as you're consuming some type of protein in, but protein shakes are quick and fast. They're a really, really good and on the go meal. So you can do that. You can have a full on breakfast, depending on if you're a breakfast person, so eggs, oats, and all that. Or you can have, you know, your daily chicken, rice, and vegetable, which is like what we're having. So for the meal right after the gym, AKA post-workout meal, we've got chicken tenders, and I take off a lot of the fat, so really this is mainly protein. So we've got chicken tenders, onions, and asparagus. Since I'm trying to slim down just a little bit, get the abs showing or whatever, I'm cutting some of the carbs out, but not fully, uh, because I'm not on a prep or anything, right? So we're not going too hard on the diet, but we're kind of you know, making a little bit of twists and turns on the carbs and the fats just so we can shred with it. Out of all my meals, half of them have carbs and half of them don't. And when I say they have carbs, maybe like a half a cup to a cup of rice or some sort of carb, but not like, not too much of it, just enough to keep you energized. Any meal is a 10 out of 10, thank goodness. I know some of you guys were thrown off by the onions, but y'all have to try it. Just add some raw onion to your um, daily meals. Ooh, 10 out of 10. But the way my diet is going right now is I'm on a four to five meals a day kind of diet. Meal number one being breakfast or like that, depending on what I'm feeling for the day. Meal number two and three are usually the exact same. So they'll be like, you know, uh, chicken, rice, and a veggie, or chicken, sweet potato, veggie, beef, sweet potato, veggie, something, a protein, a carb, and a vegetable. And then meal number four and five, if it's not like a protein shake or whatever, it'll just be a carb and a vegetable. The shreds are coming in with this diet, but obviously when I'm on a prep, the diet is extreme. It's a 10 out of 10 all the time. But with this kind of diet, you can kind of mess around because like when people are start dieting, they take it, I think they take it too serious immediately and their body doesn't really like it. So one of the tips I can give you guys for if you're trying to lose weight, it's definitely like don't immediately just take out whatever you feel like isn't good for you slowly take it out piece by piece and then eventually you'll be like okay i'm good without this so that's one big tip i want to i want to share with you guys is whenever you're trying to lose weight or shred down mess around with the diet and see what works for you and be patient or you're not going to have an eight pack the next day so definitely mess around with a little bit give it a few weeks at a time see how it works see how it feels if it's working do a little bit more with it. If it's not working, change it up, do some research and things like that. There's so many diets out there that you could easily give a try and you never know, you might like it. So I would definitely suggest when choosing your diet or whatever it is, mess around with it on your own at first. And if it works, keep going. And if it's just not enough for you, go and do some more research on a diet that you will absolutely love. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it for today's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed the back day and the diet tips. I really, really appreciate you guys tuning in. Comment down below, guys, what you want to see next. I do appreciate all of y'all's comments. Subscribe if you're new and like the video if you haven't already. Guys, I'm trying to get to a trillion subscribers, so make sure to sub. See you guys in the next video.